Imagine an army within your body, constantly on the lookout for invaders and ready to defend you. This isn't a science fiction plot, but rather the reality of your immune system. This intricate network of cells, tissues, and organs has one primary mission, to protect you from harmful pathogens. Now let's meet an integral part of this defense force, the T cells. These are a type of white blood cell that play a key role in orchestrating the immune response. T cells are like detectives. They have an extraordinary ability to recognize foreign substances. Once they identify a threat, they spring into action, helping to destroy these invaders. They do this through a process known as cell-mediated immunity, where they directly attack infected or cancerous cells. So T cells are basically the soldiers in our immune system army, always ready to fight off invaders. Now what happens when the enemy is not an outsider but a traitor within? This is the case in cancer. Here's a twist in our tale. Cancer cells are our own cells gone rogue. They've mutated and changed, becoming unrecognizable to our immune system. It's like having a spy in our midst, someone who knows all our secrets and can blend in without being detected. This is what makes cancer so tough to fight, and it doesn't stop there. Cancer cells are cunning, they have tricks up their sleeves to suppress T-cell activity, effectively putting the brakes on our immune response. It's as if our brave soldiers, the T-cells, are being held hostage, unable to do their job. This suppression of T-cell activity is a key factor that allows cancer to progress unchecked. Cancer cells are like wolves in sheep's clothing, deceiving our immune system and suppressing our T-cells. But what if we could train our T-cells to recognize and attack these traitorous cancer cells. This is where the innovative field of immunotherapy steps in, turning science fiction into reality. Imagine an army of T-cells, primed and ready, marching out to combat the cancer cells. That's what immunotherapy aims to achieve. It's all about giving our immune system a helping hand. There are different types of immunotherapies, but let's focus on two that directly involve our T-cells. The first one is CAR T-cell therapy, where T-cells are genetically engineered to produce special receptors on their surface, known as CARs. These CARs enable the T-cells to recognize specific proteins on cancer cells, making them the perfect targeted weapon. The second type is checkpoint inhibitors, which work by taking off the brakes that cancer puts on our T-cells, freeing them to attack the cancer cells. With the right training, our T-cells can become cancer-killing machines. Let's dive deeper into these T-cell-based therapies. Imagine CAR T-cell therapy as a process where a patient's T-cells are transformed into superheroes. They're genetically engineered to produce a special receptor called a chimeric antigen receptor, or CAR for short. This allows the T-cells to recognize and latch on to cancer cells, which they then destroy with their superpowers. Now think of checkpoint inhibitors as the key to unleashing the full potential of T-cells. In normal situations, our T-cells have built-in breaks known as checkpoints to prevent them from attacking our own cells. However, cancer cells can hijack these checkpoints to evade immune detection. Checkpoint inhibitors are drugs that release these breaks, allowing the T-cells to recognize and fight cancer cells. These innovative therapies have shown promising results, turning the tide in the battle against cancer. In essence, CAR T-cell therapy and checkpoint inhibitors are like giving our T-cells superpowers to fight cancer. As promising as these therapies are, they are not without challenges. Side effects can range from mild to severe, including flu-like symptoms, fatigue, and in some cases, serious immune reactions. Some patients may also develop resistance to the therapy over time, rendering it less effective. Yet, every challenge presents an opportunity for innovation. Scientists across the globe are working tirelessly to refine these therapies and mitigate these issues. Research is underway to develop strategies to minimize side effects while maximizing the therapeutic potential of T-cells. One promising area of exploration is the use of precision medicine, tailoring treatments to the individual's genetic makeup to enhance effectiveness and reduce adverse reactions. Furthermore, efforts are being made to understand the mechanisms of resistance and find ways to overcome it. This could potentially involve combination therapies or novel strategies to reinvigorate T-cells. Despite the challenges, T-cell-based therapies hold immense potential to revolutionize cancer treatment. 
Stay informed, stay hopeful.